it is possible to have uh, different details uh, around the position of the mobile beacons. So in order to do that, you can switch between different modes. And choose the best one, suitable for your particular needs. Then zoom out, station beacon, station beacon, mobile beacons, 10 centimeters apart. Zoom in. And for example, switch on real-time player. And press M, Maria. Map cleared. And now the real-time player is enabled, which allows extremely precise. As you can see, the update rate is much slower, latency much higher, but the resolution is now one centimeter between the dots. And as you can see, the, the walk distance of each of the mobile beacon is very small. So it's under one centimeter now, but it's slow. So let's turn it off back. As you see, they're active. Another element you need to pay attention is real uh, so the update rate. So you have two options. Actually, you can choose between many options, but uh, key uh, uh, difference is that you can let all the mobile beacons update uh, location to the modem, but in this case, they will occupy too much time radio. But you can choose a different setting and update, for example, not 100, beacons at the same time, but let's say six only. So if you have uh, 60 beacons, uh, and in this case you need to unfreeze the map, freeze again, so their settings would be now uploaded to all the beacons. What will happen now is that uh, each of the beacon will update to the dashboard with, with much uh, lower update rate. As you see, the rate is 0 0.6 Hertz, but this is 0 0.6 Hertz per 60 beacon. But in fact, each of the beacons, they report only uh, every 10th time, because I chose six at a time and I have 60 beacons. So it means it takes 10 periods to update the location for each of the particular beacon. So it meant that they're effective update rate per beacon in these settings from the mobile beacon is 6 Hz. But here you can see only 0 0.6 Hz because we are updating only every nth time. As you see, the system is very stable and extremely, extremely precise.